drops to the floor They said it would get easier But I don't know who for Days move faster now I swear Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you guys so much for joining me for today's Decorate With Me. Today I'm sharing how I decorated my coffee bar for Easter. Simple, but I still love how it came out and of course I wanted to share with you guys before Easter this weekend. You guys might have heard a little Jonathan in the background. He has been so vocal lately so he's just talking away. But nonetheless, I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you guys do, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe also check out part one and part two in part one I showed you guys this new shelf in my kitchen and part two we decorated the living room I love the way everything turned out because I think I can leave it throughout the springtime which I probably will do and yeah I hope you guys enjoy it let's go ahead and get started I'm starting off with this greenish bluish base from the Studio McGee line from Target. I got this last year and I absolutely love this color in combination with the pink from these Cosmos. These are from Hobby Lobby and I have used them throughout my kitchen and my living room and they've been my favorite floral for the past three years. I think these two colors look so good together but I'm also trying to pull from the landscape art I used in my kitchen kitchen i love that piece of art i think it's so pretty and it just has a lot of pastel colors in there i'm also trying to emulate that moody kind of mood i have going on in the kitchen while still incorporating the pastels of spring so that is my overall goal if you guys haven't watched part one and part two i will link them down below in the description box but that is why i'm incorporating these black candlesticks at first if you don't see the overall look with my kitchen and my living room you might not understand why i am incorporating black and you know maybe gold would have looked just as nice but I do like the touch of the moodiness that a darker color brings Some things last forever The only new item I purchased this year for Easter is that wooden bunny you guys see next to the vase that is from Target and it was $20. I love the warmth that it adds to my coffee bar and I figured for spring and Easter it was the perfect little piece to treat myself. Next to the vase I am adding these little berry holders. I've had these for quite some years now and again I just think the combination of the like tanned colored one and the light pink is just perfect for the overall color sequence that I'm going for. Now that the middle of my shelf is decorated with the focus pieces that I have, I can then move on to the sides of my shelf with just filler pieces that I have. I always try to balance out this shelf with similar colors or textures and just kind of try to emulate one side to the other, but they're still different. I don't decorate symmetrically. I'm pretty sure you guys already know this about me, so that is all I'm doing. I'm just adding pieces and again just trying to balance out what I have going on on one side on the other. Thank you. 
I'm also very intentional about spacing and where things are and how they're rotated. So I do spend a couple minutes just correcting where things are at and trying to balance out the space between objects as much as I can. So yeah, just a little tip if you're also struggling with the way something looks, even moving it just a little bit makes a big difference. But now I'm finishing up the other side, just adding a few more decorations touches and that'll be it for the top of my shelf before moving on to the bottom For the top of my lockers, I'm just adding my canisters here. These are from Kirkland's a while back. I probably have had them for years now. And I just have flour, sugar, and coffee. And I am trying to figure out what I want to do in this corner of my house. I kind of want to remodel it or do like a neat little project. But for now, I'm keeping those lockers. All I know is whenever I do do something here, it has to have a lot of storage but now for the pegs on my shelf I'm just adding some mugs and some kitchen towels I always get asked where this shelf is from and my husband made this for me so I love it I absolutely am in love with it still again I probably have had it for two years now and I have such a joy decorating it but yes like i said i'm just adding some kitchen towels these are the hearth and hand ones from their spring collection this year they're the cheapest and best quality ones that i have found i always get her kitchen towels every single season and then i'm just adding this cute little wooden spoon and this pot holder for that touch of pink and that is it i could smell the pines when I let you in the doorway Took the seat next to mine Like you've been there before I'm different Alrighty friends, well that is everything I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope it brought you some spring and decorating inspiration if it's a little bit too late for Easter. But nonetheless, like I said, I just hope it brought you some inspiration and you enjoyed sitting down and watching. As always, I hope you guys consider subscribing. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you guys in my next one. I hope everyone has a very happy Easter with your family and your loved ones and I will see you guys next week. Bye!